Okay, so next up on our tutorials is how do we change the colours on this template, on all of my templates? Um, doesn't matter which one you've purchased, it's the same process. So, I'm not going to be talking about all of the text colours, mainly um, things like background colours and just the colour scheme in general. So, what I want you to do is go to design in the menu that is on the left hand side and press site styles. This is going to bring up a new menu on the right hand side that looks a little bit like this, exactly like this actually. Um, and then what I want you to do is just press colours. Okay, so as you can see we've got a palette and we've got themes. So how do you know which theme is on the site? Like how does it work? Let me show you. Um, if you actually look on the left hand side of the screen, it's a showcase of your site. So um, it's likely that it's shrunk it down. So some of it might look a little bit off. Um, but what you can see here is two A's, an uppercase and a lowercase A. And then it says lightest one. And that's because this section of the site uses lightest one's colour palette or colour theme. And then as we scroll, you can see this section here uses darkest two. This section here uses bright two. This section here uses lightest one and the footer uses darkest one. Um, obviously this changes by page, so different pages use different things. So what I'd recommend you do is you do it page by page just to make sure that you're not missing out on anything. Um, before you set your site live and collect, connect up your domain, you want to make sure that every page looks good. So definitely proof it before you set it live. Um, but yeah, anyway, this is kind of how I recommend doing it is by section. Um, so what you can even do is literally click on it. So click on lightest one. Um, I don't know, you might be happy with this. Like you might be happy with that, but maybe you want to change this green. So what you can even do is just click it. This is probably going to be the easiest way. Okay, however, it's not because I um, the thing with Squarespace is there's two different ways to change colours. If you find that you click something and the colour here is different to what's here, just ignore it. Just leave it. Um, and we'll come back to it. And we'll change that in a way that I'll show you in a moment. So what we'll do is we'll just go through. So say you want to change this black button. Again, this isn't something that can be changed here. It's more about background colours. So... Let's actually start with the header. So if you don't want this to be black, let's click on it and then we can change it. So obviously where it's black, let's change it to, I don't know, um, at the moment it's just the darkest colour on the palette. But if you don't want to use green, if you don't want to use brown, let's edit the site wide palette and I think that's going to be faster. So I don't know, hopefully you know what colours you want to use. Um, but if you don't, you can scroll down and there's lots of different choices. So um, I'm going to play with it, but I'm not going to save it. Um, but for example, I really like this colour combination. So let's just change it and look what it's done. It's changed loads of it for us. So why is it giving us green though? I didn't realise that was in the colour. Oh, I guess because that's the darkest colour, right? But then if we scroll down, look, this is orange and that's green and orange. I actually prefer the colours that I chose. Um, let's try this one. You know, see how it comes out. Probably be black. Oh, I quite like the pink. But yeah, you can just play with it um, in that way. But if you don't want to use a pre thing, a preset here, it looks like now you can also do it from an image. So you can upload your image and it will draw the colours from it, which is cool. And you can also do it from a colour. So maybe you want it to be monochrome, complementary. You know, so you'd put in the colour here. Say you have one colour, like the blue, but you want, you don't know what other colours to use. You can make it like monochrome from this colour palette or like change it up and it will recommend different things according to that vibe, if that makes sense. Um, however, I'm sure most of you already know. Um, so then what you do is just click on each colour and then pop in the hex code. If you don't know the hex code, and um, what I recommend you do is go to Google Chrome and download the extension called Color Pick Eyedropper, and then um, bring up your colors somewhere on the internet, pop it like on a page, and then 
you click on the browser extension and it will come up with this and then you could just hover and pick the colors out of your I don't know if it's your logo maybe you've uploaded the logo and you can click on it and sync it up and then what you do is pop it in in the right colors um, I do it from lightest to darkest um, and then you go back to colors so this is going to have messed it all up so as you can see I've changed it so now it's all different um, but what you can do is go into each colour, so this is still lightest, this isn't going to change because that's what I've set it to. Um, you just click the pencil to edit it. And then in case it's not got all of the sections, you just press show all. And then you can scroll down the list, it's going to have options for everything. And you can see the colours that have been picked, so say if there's one thing you don't like. Um, like maybe you just didn't like that in the footer the link was green. So then you can just just find it. So text links and you just change the color in there um, and you could either change it to the palette colors or a custom color which is great so yeah um, and you can also of course just click it so you can click whatever bit you want changing which I think is going to be the easiest thing for you so that's kind of the main way to do most of the colors um, I'm just going to discard that quickly so what you would actually do is press done and then press save once you've done it um, and then what we'll do is we'll go back into the edit and we're going to go and change the little things that aren't linked. Um, so although you can change things like the text colour within that menu, what you can also do is um, press Control A to highlight it all and then click here and you can change the colour within the actual editor so you don't have to go into the design style if you don't want to. Um, this is obviously a slower process because you have to do it bit by bit um, but it's good if you just want one thing, one colour. So if you just want the header to be a different colour to all to everything else then that's the way to do it. Um, okay so this here is just a shape that I've used. What you do is go into the pencil once you've clicked on it and then you can click here in styling where it's green and then you just change it to the colour that you want it to be. Um, you can either pick it or you put in the code again um, and yeah that's how you do that. The way that you edit the text on this is just by clicking on the text box and clicking it. Something in terms of colour that you might not have considered is that on some of my templates things have shapes like text has shapes around it. So what you want to do is um, highlight the text that's inside it or has the has the shape or the underline on it and then you press this tool if it's highlighted because it means that it has an effect on it you can click on that and then you can change the color so this is the color of the the um the circle so then you can click it and make it whatever color you want again using the palette or a custom color and um, you can also change the thickness you can make it animate like the round thing as well or you can just remove it if you don't like it um but that's how you change that color this circle here again is a shape it's not actually a button i've just used a shape and made it look like a button i think this is the only template that i've done this um but again you'd go in and change it um as you can see behind it i've added a drop shadow just to give it a bit more um, and you change the drop shadow colour at the bottom so always scroll down on these menus that appear and make sure you've looked at all of the settings but you just click on it to change the colour um, but with that one you can also change how the shadow looks as well which is cool and you can even turn the shadow off if you want to um, and yeah that is essentially how you change the colours to change the colours of the button you go into the button settings that I showed you on the font video um, which will be the previous video but just in case you haven't seen that you don't want to watch it because it's quite long you just go back into your site styles in your design menu or you click on the paintbrush here and then press um, buttons and then you can change the settings in there and it's just all exactly the same on how you do that um, but yeah super easy hopefully you have gotten okay doing that but if you do struggle feel free to reach out to me I do offer a um, a design day intensive where I can take the customizing off of your hands and I can do it for you um, 
just let me know if you want that and I can invoice you and book you in for as soon as I'm available. Um, just let me know, but if not, that's cool. I can't wait to see how how you edit it, edit the templates and make it your own. Um, if you think there's a tutorial missing in this series, just let me know. Um, but yeah, anyway, I don't want to take up too much time. I hope that you have a good day and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye!